everybody. Good morning to you. Happy Monday to all of you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, the tropics are already starting to show changes. As well as this big system we've been seeing in the Atlantic, it is causing issues for the Bahamas and the Caribbean as well. Let me show you everything I have for you. Hope you have a very great Monday out there. Now, that system in the Atlantic is not causing too many issues, guys, as you all already know. But it could give significant wave height that could be twice the wave height, especially for the Bahamas and the Caribbean Sea. So there is some issues that's coming out of that storm as well. And so far by tomorrow, it's going to be spewing 20, 21 foot waves way out there into the Atlantic. But it's going to move a little bit closer come Wednesday towards the Bahamas and other places in the Caribbean. Now, as that system turns in the Atlantic, it will be causing some waves like you just seen in that alert. And it could be bringing some higher waves, mostly towards Turks and Caicos. And we're looking at Wednesday morning, maybe some eight foot waves as it passes by. It's not going to be staying for too long. By the time you get into the early afternoon, it should be whipping away. But it could be for the northeastern Bahamas, some seven foot waves, Turks and Caicos some eight foot waves and Wednesday afternoon it could be affecting northern Puerto Rico as well getting some eight foot waves as this passes by now by the third and the fourth especially the fifth this next group of disorganized thunderstorms so far is going to be passing through the Caribbean and it could bring some waves for Jamaica as well so around the fourth and the fifth especially the fourth southeastern jamaica you could be seeing some seven or eight foot waves as this swings by as well so just be aware of that and so far this system is going to be turning northern so far because it does have some high pressure out there swinging this thing around you could be getting some dramatic rainfall i will keep you updated as i always do now we are seeing in the ensembles that come may 2nd this thing could get organized and it could start going towards Jamaica and then as it goes towards the third and fourth go over Cuba and head towards Florida for the fifth and that's what it's showing in the ensembles so far. Passing by Cuba by the fourth going towards Florida Keys for the fifth and the sixth and then going down Florida and going to the southeast. That's so far what I'm seeing in the ensembles, guys. Now, we also are seeing that it could be an upper level low and it could just continue to move westward, being steered by these high pressures and by the steering winds, getting hit by shear dramatically and just being a lot of rainfall possibility for South America. And another one shows that time it gets to the fourth and the fifth, it could be turning, then weaken down quickly as it heads towards Jamaica. Now, the Global Tropics will update tomorrow, so I will keep you updated on this. So far, they have heavy rainfall in this green section for Jamaica and for Cuba, and they have historical heavy rainfall above third historical range in this green section here for all this moisture to travel. And still, a tropical cyclone could form around Asia in between the beginning of the month, from the 27th to the 3rd. But when we check our potential velocity anomaly, we do see that with the GFS around the 5th through the 8th, maybe even going all the way to the 9th, that we do have something strong coming in our section. So I will keep this updated. Make sure you subscribe. But the way it's looking so far, not only do we have a high pressure building in the southeast of the U.S., we do have this big plume of dust. It's not a big, huge plume, but it's enough high pressure to be helping with the steering winds and keeping all this moisture that does build up away. It is keeping it away so far. So, so far it should stay more southern. Let me show you why. Now, when you look at your 850 millibar steering winds, you can see this high pressure right here, moving that dust around, and you can see the high pressure building in the southeast of the US, as well as that cyclone that's in the Atlantic. But that's steering everything along this pattern and going into the Caribbean. When you look a little bit higher in the atmosphere, you can see how it's getting steered into the Caribbean, but more than likely going to be an upper level low, very disorganized group of thunderstorms as it curves into the Caribbean, heading towards South America. This could bring y'all some heavier rainfall, and this is that historical upper third that of heavy rainfall that you've seen that I just showed you of where this could be coming from. It could be steering it to the western side of the Caribbean. But at the same time, when you go to look at your wind shear, you can see that all the steering winds is coming west to east. So as this thing gets steered into the Caribbean and starts making its western travel, 
it's going to be hitting with a lot of wind shear. So not only is it getting suppressed away with this high pressure, it's getting hit with a lot of wind shear so where it won't be able to form into anything but a big group of disorganized thunderstorms. And you can see that here when you look at your wind shear. You have all these very high winds coming from the west to the east and it's being steered to the east through the Caribbean. So if any kind of disorganized thunderstorms, any kind of tropical wave comes through there, it would just get shredded apart. And there's no way it would be able to form anything besides a group of disorganized thunderstorms bringing heavy rainfall to the Caribbean. When you look at your relative humidity to see what's going on with this dry air, you can see your big group of moisture coming through, but all this dry air coming through would just keep it suppressed down. It all stays down into the southern half of the Caribbean, right below Jamaica. There's a chance it could bring up and bring some heavy rainfall towards Jamaica. I will keep you updated, but so far it's being suppressed down, and with those steering winds, it just gets shredded. So there's no way with the wind shear and the dry air, it could do anything but bring heavy rainfall into the Caribbean. And all the dry air you saw come from the U.S. is because we do have another cold front coming in the beginning of May. And so far, that is keeping this sheared away where it can't do anything, any kind of growth towards the western half of the Caribbean. So the Yucatan, I don't see it coming your direction. I actually see this getting shredded. I actually see it getting steered with the high pressure in the eastern Caribbean, high pressure in the southeastern U.S. And this right here would bring like a vacuum and it'll just suck it right into the Atlantic. But unfortunately, it's going to be going over possibly Puerto Rico, Turks and Caicos, Cuba, Dominican Republic. Y'all could be getting some heavy rainfall out of it. And you can see this with your rain accumulation the next five days. You have this high pressure circling here. You have a high pressure circling here. And you have this big low pressure circling over here. So with this spinning around this way, this spinning around this way will suck all this disorganized thunderstorms, all this moisture into the Atlantic. And the Euro is agreeing with it as well. Matter of fact, the Euro is taking it heaviest towards Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, while the GFS says it could make it a little further, give everybody a little bit more rainfall. But eventually, it's going to be pulling all this moisture into the Atlantic because of the pattern we're going to be in. And so far, it is still early, but it is showing early development, guys. So we need to stay ahead of this tropics like we always do, and you know I will. And when you look at your 500 millibar vorticity, you can see how all this tropical moisture is getting pulled into the Atlantic by those high pressures and the steering winds is keeping it back. But it's still showing there's a possibility that this could still form up sometime around the 4th and it could swing towards Jamaica. It could be bringing you the heavy rainfall. I don't see too much of a chance of a formation out of it. But there is still an opportunity. So I will keep this updated to make sure nothing happens. But if it does try and do anything, Jamaica, so far the steering winds, the wind shear will shred this thing. and It'll just be a group of disorganized thunderstorms. Now we also have another pretty big system that is coming to the U.S. And I will keep you updated on that as well. Remember this hurricane season, there'll be double videos coming out. As well as my live stream, guys. I'm still waiting for these VGA cables so I can hook up all these monitors together. So I can give you the best content as possible. If you've been there for my live streams on my last channel years ago when I used to do this almost every day, they're coming back. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you be part of the community and help out. And Caribbean, I will keep you all updated as well. I want to keep this short as possible. I don't see any big major threats coming out of this tropical wave, this group of disorganized thunderstorms passing by. I just want to keep you updated on what's going on before you hear any kind of thing from anybody else. I want to give you the truth. But at the same time, God bless you. God bless all of us for this hurricane season coming up. I pray that everyone will be safe out of it. I'll keep you as safe as I can, giving you the best early alerts as I can. You know I always will. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Leave a like if you'd like to support this, and then please share this on social media if you'd like to alert people to what's going on, especially in the Caribbean. You do have heavier rainfall coming, so just be aware of that for your crops as well. Psalm 63. O oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. 
My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy love and kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Amen. <laughs> Have a great Monday, everybody. I don't see much out of this, but a group of disorganized thunderstorms. Now, you know, I will keep you updated, especially y'all in the Caribbean. Y'all always see everything first before us in the U.S. Do see it in South America. I will keep y'all updated as well. So far, it just looks like some heavy rainfall coming. Group of disorganized thunderstorms. I really don't see this thing forming. And if it does start to form, it's going to get shredded by the wind shear. No worries. In all honor. <laughs> all power. All glory. Does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. Our Father. Our God. And he will keep us safe. I am a firm believer of that. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a very blessed Monday. Have a great day at work. Have a great day at school. Stay positive. And positive things always happen. That's a true thing. Have a great day, everybody.